With the evaluation requested by the judge at the original bail hearing now complete, both sides were back in court. The evaluation concluding that electronic monitoring and a ban on out-of-state travel should be ordered. The defense telling the court that McDonald's conduct since his arrest proves the electronic bracelet isn't needed. There has been simply no issue of misconduct on his part, no articulable basis to say that an additional bail condition is required. The doctor is accused of sexually assaulting a female patient in his office after hours. According to the county attorney, the alleged victim also suffers from mental health issues, and McDonald used that knowledge to his advantage. He had considerable contact with her psychotherapist who told him all about um, her vulnerabilities so that he may treat her uh, more easily, and instead um, he preyed upon those vulnerabilities. The prosecution adding the monitoring was needed to ensure that McDonald doesn't go within 100 yards of the alleged victim. The defense countering that the presumption of innocence and the defendant's behavior over the past three and a half weeks proves there's no need for the bracelet. There's now a basis to know that there will be no violation of your order and no contact order. But again, the judge disagreed, ordering the electronic monitoring, although she did modify the bail conditions, acceding to some requests made by the defense. Dr. McDonald will be allowed to travel out of state, but he must also surrender his passport. In Brentwood, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.